This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. And here we are backstage. Our players are warming up for today's big match. Special match today, so don't go away. And one of these two guys is going to have the opportunity to win his very own video arcade game. You players ready? Okay, let's go play Star King. All right, here we are. This is where it's all going to happen. These are the guys who are going to make it happen. So let's meet him right now. Your name is? Andrew Garcia. Andy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, right now I'm going to attend Sierra Junior College. Uh, I love skiing, ice skating, uh, water skiing. I love the outdoors. I love camping. I'm waiting for video games. Video games? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andy, nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Mark Walsh. I'm a sophomore at Camp Lindo High School in Moraga, California, where I play trumpet in the marching band. Oh, good. I'm also interested in computers. I like writing computer games, and I also have written one magazine article that's been published, and I'm working on another one right now. Terrific. Good for you, Mark. A lot of accomplishments there. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Cliffhanger. <laughs> and maybe that'll give you a little clue as to what a special game this is. You guys shake hands. And Kevin will tell us why this is kind of a special day here on Starcade. Kev? There's only one game on today's show, Jeff. It is Cliffhanger. And, sweeties, you're going to love it. <laughs> okay, Kevin, I know we're going we're gonna to be going with the, with the uh, dialect today, I bet. All right, Cliffhanger it is. And Andrew and Mark, uh, both of you had a chance to play it before today's game, and, and uh, today's show, rather. And, and both of you, I suppose, are experts in this, right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, you guys are so confident backstage. You get out here and you're beginning to get this uh, humility act. I know you're good players. Okay, I have a question for you. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly. It is worth 2,500 points, 2,500 points, and you'll be the first to play. If you're ready, please. What is the name of the witch in Crystal Castles? A, Matilda. B, Berthilda. Mark. A, Matilda. No, it's Berthilda. Yes, Berthilda it is. And, Andrew, that means you get 2,500 points. You'll be the first to play Cliffhanger, and let's have uh, Kevin play the part of Cliff and tell us about it. Okay, Jeff, sweetheart, it was a dark night with just a slight taste of rain in the air. I was on a job with my partner, Marcelo, down at the local She's hangar, gorgeous. taking care of some She's counterfeit trouble. lettuce. And then, there she was, an angel in trouble. And what could I do? I couldn't walk away, not from her. I had to go after her, even if it meant taking on that scoundrel, Count Draco. You see, for her, it was easy to take on almost anything, because I knew she was going to be worth it. And Marcelo, he knew it too. Okay, we have this mysterious name, Marcelo, that's popping up, Andy, so we better explain that. Uh, this is special cliffhanger day. All the games are going to be cliffhangers, and because Andy and Mark only have 50 seconds and 40 seconds and 30 seconds, uh, we have decided to let you at home see some screens maybe you never saw on cliffhanger, particularly the end where Cliff and Clarissa get together. And for that, we've invited Marcelo Hasmer to visit us again. Marcelo, how you doing? Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Good to see you. I'm just fine. Marcelo was a champion here on Starcade and is an expert cliffhanger player, right? That's right. Say hello to Andy. And also a cliffhanger expert. And Marcelo, your job, if you uh, care to take it on, is to go over to the cliffhanger game over on the side of the stage and start playing. We'll take a camera and take pictures of you as we go through this game and of the different screens that you're going through. And then finally to the big moment when uh, Cliff gets together with uh, Clarissa. I love that part. What happens then? Oh, that's when they fall into the water and they swim away happily ever after. They fall into the... We'll, we'll, we'll have to see that. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. Take your position. Okay, he'll go over there. Andy, we'll get ready now for you to get into the competition. You'll have 50 seconds for cliffhanger. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Get ready. Get set. Play. Oh, 
35 seconds. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's a bravo. But she needs help. Doing great, 25 seconds. Oh, what happened, Andy? Good. 35 wow, seconds. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. About 50,000 points for you, Andy. Not bad. What do you think? I love the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, head on back. Here comes Mark. Mark, Andy had a couple of problems here. I'm sure you're watching on the monitors. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Well, I'm going to do the best I can. Sure, that's all you can do. He's got 50,000 points. You'll have 50 seconds. If you're ready to go, turn around and get set. You ready? Get set. Play. Five seconds. Oh, too bad. Twenty thousand, twenty-five seconds. Here we go. Oh no, another crash. Fifteen seconds, Mark. Thirty thousand points. Good this time. Uh, 50,000 also. Looks like a tie so far. Stay right here. We'll be right back and check those scores for sure. And we'll keep watching Marcelo as he plays the cliffhanger till we get to the last screen. We'll be right back. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game Cliffhanger. The adventures of the heroic Cliff who could do almost anything to save the princess from that dastardly crook Count Draco. Will she be forced to marry such a coward? Not if Cliff can rescue her in Cliffhanger, furnished by Stern Electronics. And this is a Cliffhanger show. Here's Jeff Edwards. Thank you, Kevin. All right, Cliffhanger, the first, uh, first shot at it is finished. Let's take a look and see how we did. Andrew, you have a score of... 52,500. Mark, you have 50,000 even. You both tied on the game, but Andrew had the extra 2,500 points for getting the question right, and that makes these questions very important. So uh, you're in the lead, uh, Andrew. And uh, well, just a reminder that there's still, of course, one more game to be played in this round. The total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the name of the game board. If you're set, hands on your buzzers, and here's your question. One of the tracks in pole position two is A, the seaside, B, the mark. A, seaside. A, seaside is right. 2,500 points for you. And that means we have a tie score. Are you ready to play cliffhanger? Sure am. All right, as we go over, let's check in with Marcelo and Cliff and see how they're doing. The day brought some surprises. That scoundrel Draco was on us like glue. We knew we weren't going to let up until we had it. You see... She was the thing dreams are made of. And I get goosebumps just thinking about it. And there was the smell of that. Whenever she was around, it reminded me of another gorgeous doll I used to know. She's good, sweetheart. Really, really good. And she needed us. And that was enough to keep us going. <laughs> That's the best Rock Hudson I've ever heard, uh, Kevin. That's terrific. All right. Do you all set, Mark? Yeah, sure. All right, now, you, you'll be going through some of the same screens, so uh, let's see how well you learned your lessons. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. Jeff! Jeff! Thirty-five seconds. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. Oh no! Forty thousand. About fifteen seconds left. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. Oh, all right, 
55,000. Nice play, Mark. Head on back. Andy, come on down. Well, he only got in trouble once. He got himself 55,000 points. That's something to shoot at. What do you think? Yeah, most definitely. All right. You, you, uh, you will probably see some of the same screens. Let's see how well you do it. If you turn around, you'll have 50 seconds to go. This is Cliffhanger. You ready? Get set. Play. Same trouble he did. That's 40,000. 15 seconds. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. All right, 15,000 points. Head on back, Andy. Let's see what happens as we total up the scores. Both of you had a chance to play Cliffhanger twice. Now, one of you is going to play for a special prize, so we'll total up the scores from both games to see who gets to play the name of the game board. This is going to be interesting. Andrew, you have... Well, the 100,000 doesn't register, so you have 100,000... Two... <laughs> I can't even figure out what that is. 102,500. Mark, you have 107,500. So close, 5,000 apart. Come on over here, Mark. You're going to get the chance to play the name of the game board. <laughs> Just here, right over here, please. Typical MC. If the numbers don't come up, you can't figure out what they are. Behind you is the Name the Game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, we have something good for you, and Kevin will tell you about it. Mark, for three correct answers out of the four, you'll win Activision's hottest new titles for a variety of home computers. River Raid, Pitfall, the Decathlon, Space Shuttle, and Enduro, a home entertainment package from Activision. And for all four correct, first, it's LaSonic's portable AM-FM radio cassette recorder with LED display, separate bass and treble control, and a three-speaker system, a great companion at parties from LaSonic, and a beautiful jeweled pendant from the Miss USA collection at Gordon's Jewelers. With over 400 stores from coast to coast, furnished by Gordon's Jewelers. Now, Mark, you're not starting to feel the pressure, are you? Uh, not really. All right, turn around then. We'll wish you good luck. Uh, take a look in the upper left-hand corner of the screens. Is that Cosmic Chasm or Tempest? That's Tempest. Tempest is right. Number two, Crazy Climber or Arabian? Arabian. Doing fine in the middle. Buck Rogers or Astro Blaster? It's Buck Rogers. Yes, it is. Let's look for number four. Rocket Racer or Solar Fox? Solar Fox. You've got all four. Congratulations to you. Well, you're having a nice day for yourself, Mark. And tell you what, hang on. We'll be back in a few moments with Starcade and see which one of these guys is going to get a chance to take Cliffhanger home. All right, we have a really close match here on our special cliffhanger day. This is round two now, guys. It's the big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time you only get 40 seconds to play it. After that, we total up all the scores, and the top score in all games is going to get a chance to win their very own cliffhanger. Now, as you see, the questions are worth 2,500 points, so they're, uh, they're of great value to you, particularly to you, Andrew. You need a couple of points here. Hands on buzzers. In the game Puyan, the wolves throw what at the mother pig? A, meat bombs. B, arrows. I'll read it again. In the game Poo Yan, the wolves throw what at the mother pig? A, meat bombs. B, arrows. Mark. A, meat bombs. Meat bombs is right. Another 2,500 points for Mark. That gives you 110,000. You're in really good shape, and you get to play first. So if you're ready to go, you and I'll go okay. over. But first, let's check in with Cliff and Marcello to see what's going on. I never dreamed I'd go this far for a dog. Chasing after her on dry land is one thing, but I'd never been on a caper underwater. And it had its moments, sweetheart. But if that's all it took, this doll was worth it. Even sewers won't stop us. All she's got to do is just whistle, and we'll leap the tallest buildings, take on the murkiest sewer, even fly. For her, anything is easy. I was almost stopped by a sewer once, but then I had a good lawyer. 
Oh, a little play on words there. <laughs> All right. Cliff, <laughs> cliffhanger is a game. Don't shake your head at me. I'm in charge. <laughs> All right, Mark. It's Cliffhanger. You have 40 seconds this time. You're ahead, but it uh, wouldn't do to make any mistakes. If you're all set, turn around, and we're ready to go. You ready? Get set. Play. Jam! Jam! Wow, she's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. Get it that time, 10 seconds. Great play. No mistakes at all. Head on back. Andy's coming down. Andy, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know whether you have a chance or not. You can get in there and uh, hope for some high-scoring screens and hope it works out. Uh, all I can say is good luck to you. Thank you. Don't get killed. <laughs> or maybe maybe that's the easy way out for you. I don't know. <laughs> all right, Cliffhanger it is. You have 40 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. She's gorgeous. She's in trouble. But she needs help. 15 seconds. Oh, no. Too bad. <laughs> wow. She's gorgeous. She's in trouble. All right. Come on back, Andy. 40000 for you. And uh, probably Andy and Mark both know the results. Wait. We'll add up the scores and verify it. Anyway, Andrew, you had a grand total of 142,500. Mark, you have 180,000. Nicely played, champ. Congratulations to you. Andy, bit of bad luck there. The questions kind of knocked you out, too, but it's yeah. been nice having you on the show. Thank Hope you. you had a good time. Yes, I have. Very good. good. And we have, we have a special gift for you. We have recordings of Kevin doing all of his imitations of Marcel Marceau. You're going to love those. <laughs> all right, now we do have a nice gift for you for being here on Starcade. And for you, Mark, something special for being our champ, Kev. It's RB5X, the intelligent robot. It's the perfect multi-purpose programmable home appliance. It learns from its experiences, moves under its own power, and can even talk from RB Robot Corporation, Golden, Colorado. And now, Mark, the exciting time is coming up because in a minute you're going to have a chance to play for our grand prize, your very own cliffhanger. Don't go away. All right, welcome back to Starcade. Now, Mark's a big challenge for you and a big chance, too, a chance to win your very own cliffhanger. And during the commercial break, we told you that in order to win cliffhanger, you'd have to score at least 45,000 points in 30 seconds. That was the, that's the average score of more than 20 other people who played cliffhanger, okay? okay. All right, that means if you score 45,000 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win cliffhanger all for your own. So we'll go over and get ready to play. But first, let's check in again uh, with Marcelo and Cliff, who look like they're about to get their feet wet. Count isn't making this easy, but I wouldn't expect him to. She's something. Just one last time. Get me out of this, Marcelo. And then you can play it again. What a dog. Now I'm going to pee.
Thanks, Marcello. Here's looking at you, kid. All right. Way to go, Marcello. Congratulations. Nice to see the two of them finally get together. Have you, have you seen that? Have you seen them get together? No, I haven't. You've never gotten that far, huh? Nope. All right. Well, the important thing is right now for you to get 45,000 points in in 30 seconds. Marcello is our expert. As, as you've seen, any, any uh, words of advice for Mark before he goes? Make, make believe she's your girlfriend and you're trying to save her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Marcello. Mark, good luck to you. 45,000 points in 30 seconds, and you'll take Cliffhanger home. Get ready. Get set. Play. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production, sweetie.